Hi everyone, I'm Aina. I'm making this video to elaborate on the topic of culture procedures for a people starting from stock cultures until upscaling of stock cultures to start the culture. Before I start, let me show you the table of contents for this video. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Brachianus caliciflorus is the most commonly cultured species of freshwater rotifers. The rotifers body is composed of head, neck, body and foot. Stats to culture rotifers should be handled carefully as it can easily be contaminated with bacteria and celiacs. Therefore, these are the materials and setup needed for stock cultures of Brachianus caliciflorus. Starting with this infecting the roti first in the plastic jar, the student root will start before putting in inoculum for smooth airflow to keep the roti first at sea. Then, let's try to plant and seawater is mixed in the syringe and fed to the inoculum before adding more seawater. After 24 hours, lighter green of culture can be seen on the left, indicating that the roti first have eaten. Half of the roti first is filtered little by little while the other half can be kept from upscaling cultures. And there you have the approximate roti first harvested. Moving on to the upscaling of stock cultures to starter cultures, these are the materials needed. The upscaling of rocky first will be carried out in elements placed 2 cm from the fluorescent light tube. With temperature of 30 degrees Celsius inside, 50 ml of algae is added every day to supply enough food. After a few days, rinse the rocky first using submerged filters. Finally, the roti first should be filtered using either these to avoid contamination before distributing roti first into bottles completed with aeration. And there you have it! The roti first of Brachianus caliciferus are ready to be used for inoculation of mass cultures. To sum it all, using roti first as food for fish larvae and other aquatic organisms is recommended as they are high in nutrients, including highly in unsaturated fatty acids. Hence, many aquaculturists use roti first to feed their cultured aquatic species in hatcheries. For more information about this topic, you can refer to this link. We have reached the end of this video and I hope you get to learn something about roti first as well as enjoying it. Thank you!